So, egg gondola project. We need an egg to fall in that bucket. First off, the setup. I've got a long cable from Princess Auto that I have anchored to a big heavy thing. I've got an eyelet, something easy to take this on and off with. And it's not welded, it's all adjustable, so if I do need to make a change, I can. The other end of it is located roughly six and a little bit of feet off the ground, doing the same method. I've got an eyelet, a carabiner, so I can quickly take it on and off, and it's adjustable if I need to take this thing apart and make changes. Take a look closely if you want to go shopping at Princess Auto. I basically just picked what they had in stock. The angle I'm using is roughly 10%. Sorry, 10 degrees, it's 10. So the main goal is to get an egg to go all the way from there in some sort of gondola, carriage or whatever. Maybe build a pulley system that's gonna allow it to be let go. Boop. Travel all the way down here and be released into that bucket. Now you can design your buckets any way you want. I did this based on what I had in the room, some two by four and some plywood that I had kicking around. The measurements, I can post those, or you can just kind of make it up yourself. This here is roughly 20 inches long, so I made a 20 inch gap so that if their egg tends to drop here, it splats. If it lands in here, it's gonna be full of pillows and all that kind of stuff. I made this to be, oh, I don't know, 18 inches or so above. They have to build some kind of trigger system to allow the egg to either fall in there, maybe by a trap door, or maybe hit here and some kind of plunging system falls in. As the egg travels down, it should be able to fall down into there and not to its doom. So that's our basic setup for the egg gondola. Check my website for my rubric and ideas and words and stuff. Um, you'll see the original credit for this idea on there as well.